Earlier this week, with a 7-1 to vote, Utica's Common Council, they agreed to a budget. Now that financial plan for the city, it's on Mayor Ron Palmieri's desk. Jen Sealing caught up with him as he now has the ability to send it forward or put up a roadblock. The next step would be at this point that I sign in the ordinances or I have the ability to veto if there's something that, uh, you know, I either disagree or I feel it's going to be irresponsible for the budget. During this part of the process, Mayor Rob Paul Mary looks over the amendments that the council proposed to see what kind of impact it has on the taxpayer. The process is, you know, if it does have an impact on the budget as, or it does have an impact on the, on the taxpayers, that's something that I look at and make sure that, uh, you know, if, if I'm going to sign it into the ordinance as is, I make sure that I'm responsible for uh, either agreeing to it or disagreeing. If I do disagree with something, then I lay out the reasons why I disagree with it, and then they have the ability to override it or my veto will stand. The mayor only has a few days to either pass or veto the amendments. It's roughly a five-day window, five-working-day window, I believe it would, it would be. Uh, and, but at the end of the day, the budget has to be enacted by at least April 1st so that you have that period of time to veto and they have the override before actually the law is April 1st as a new budget. And Paul Mary says for the 2019-2020 fiscal year budget, no amendments will be vetoed. I'm very comfortable that the budget really passed as it should have been passed. Uh, there was a little bit of a concern where they wanted more money put in for uh, the parks and DPW. Paul Mary is passing that amendment to move $40,000 from the city street maintenance over to the Department of Public Works to help increase seasonal care for local parks and roads. And with his signature on this plan, the budget will become official April 1st. Reporting, Jen Selig, Eyewitness News.